Guys, I am beyond excited to bring you a new update to the software. Okay, at first glance, you're looking at the screen. Yes, it's gorgeous. The AI writer has been redesigned so well organized now. We've added a ton of new AI capability to it. We will go through that, I promise. But first, the biggest and most exciting thing is we have fixed something that has been lacking in all marketing software for so long, and that is good, solid strategy. I've developed an attract and convert framework that is infused throughout the DNA of the entire software now. And that is the most exciting thing. Are you guys sick of just putting posts out there into the void? And it just seems like nobody's listening, nobody's responding. You're not getting a reaction and you're not reaching the right people. And when you do, they don't convert because there's just this huge disconnect between who you're attracting and who really is buying your product. That is all a thing of the past. This is going to fix that. Attract and convert, in a nutshell, we're basically taking that 3% rule, which says that only 3% of the market is ready to buy. Whatever your niche is, only 3% of them are ready to buy right now. Another 17% is aware that there's a problem and they're looking for a solution. The other 80% either don't even know that they have a problem or they know they have a problem, but they don't even know that a solution exists. That 80% is largely ignored, and we are going to attack that 80% like our life depends on it. So basically, we are going to meet the customer where they are in the buyer's journey. We are gonna be creating content that appeals to every single person in our target audience, 100% of them, even if they don't even know that a problem exists. We are going to get your brand associated with the outcome that your target audience desires most. Once we brand that outcome, we are going to sell them on the transformation that will take place from where they are in their problematic state to the final outcome once your solution is implemented. And it sounds challenging, but it's really easy if you break it down into steps. And that's what our software helps you do. Doing this would be very difficult if you weren't using our software. And we're going to go through some of that right now. Um, okay, let's calm down, Craig, and try not to fixate on how pretty it is. I know it's gorgeous, but come on, it's more than just a pretty face. And I want to go through some of the changes we made right now. Before we get into the marketing strategy, I want to just give you a quick peek at the social media. Notice how we've broken everything up in our social media module into generating leads. This is the attract phase of the attract and convert strategy. And now we've got all of these new convert leads into buyers um, social media types. So as you could see, it's really easy to generate a ton of different kinds of content that the beautiful social media algorithms are going to put in front of your potential buyers when they are ready to see it. That is one thing that the algorithms nowadays are so good at. People are still fixated on just the marketing funnel, which is over 100 years now, guys. It's time for an update. We are bringing the marketing funnel to the social media feed, and our biggest ally is going to be those social media algorithms that know what the purpose of your content is, they know what your customer's problems are, and they will match it up. And we have a secret weapon for that that we're going to be getting into. But it's basically, there's a through line across all of these different types of social media that allows the attract and convert strategy to work. And it's called outcome alignment. We're going to get into that into detail in the coming um, videos. I'm going to be teaching everybody how to do this. It's so simple. And actually, during this demo, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create an outcome statement for your brand that tells the um, AI writer system what the desired outcome is for your target audience and how your solution transforms where they are now into where they need to get. So let's jump right into some of the nuts and bolts of this. And to demo the software, what I'm going to do is actually go into the marketing strategy module and let's figure out for Socialmonials and Agency Pro, let's figure out what our outcome statement should be. So I'm gonna to go to this new task called AI Writer Onboarding Assistant, start here. This is actually gonna help me update 
my company profile. So when I'm writing using the AI writer, it's going to implement the attract and convert strategy for me. So I'm going to click that and notice how smooth it is now. We've got this new settings screen that has um, multiple inputs. We used to just have this giant box. Now we've got multiple inputs asking for what it needs in order to do a great job. So here's the second one it's asking for now. Enter your main review page URL. So for Sochimonials, uh, let me go find that. Let's see here. Okay, Captera is where we get most of our reviews. So we've got 163 reviews. Why not use that to help the AI create a strategy for me and figure out what is the outcome people desire? So you can see there's a ton of reviews on the page. So I'm going to grab this page URL up at the top here and jump back and paste that here. So that's where the AI can find my reviews. Now it's going to go crawl my company website. Now it's going to go crawl all my reviews and figure it out. So all I need to do now is click generate AI chatbot prompt and it will copy it into the clipboard. It's already ready to paste. So I'm going to do that now and let's let it go to work. And while it's working, I'll start describing some of these other things you see on the left here. So step one is obviously to get it working. I'm using Gemini because the new Gemini is just unbelievable. I mean, I think it's better than ChatGPT. Um, you can set your system up for Gemini if you want. Uh, the default is actually ChatGPT. You could also launch Claude and you can use that as your default if you want. Um, it's always changing, which my favorite is as they you know, launch new models. But let's look at step two. So the step two is gonna be click a number to select the outcome statement that best represents your company. Notice how all of the step twos, and we have over a hundred different, you know, document types and post types you can create. They're all customized now. So the instructions are even customized. It's telling me about the outcome statement that best represents your company. And I just click the number that corresponds with it. So notice on the right, it's finished working. So it says we've prepared 10 outcome statements for you to choose from. And so let's take a look at a few of these. Launch a scalable social media agency without technical headaches by using a complete white label agency toolkit. Absolutely love that. Own your digital business infrastructure without the overwhelming learning curve so you can focus on acquiring clients. You know, these are all good. I'm gonna go with one because they really nailed it. So I'm gonna click one. And as you can see here, it tells me it's been copied and to paste it, let's do that. And just like that, it's going to go to work. Um, there are optional refinements, which I really don't think I'm going to need. So I'm going to skip that. This is going to determine, determine what my brand voice is based on what it scrapes from my website. And let's take a look. Okay, so what it's done now is it's set up my company profile fields for me. So it's basically saying, hey, go into your company profile and update it. So what I could do now is now that I'm done with this, I'm going to go over to my company profile. And it's telling me, okay, here is your product and service description with outcome or with the outcome statement built in. So I can just grab this and overwrite whatever I had in here. My target customer, aspiring entrepreneurs and working professionals who want to transition from a side hustle to a fully operational, fully operational scalable digital marketing agency without being held back by technical setup or complex infrastructure requirements. I'm gonna take that target customer and I'm gonna paste that here. Perfect. Now, one other thing you're gonna note, and this is a big part of Attract and Convert, is we really want you guys, if you don't already have it, you really need to have a lead magnet or some sort of a lead call to action because the beauty of Attract and Convert is we are going to align our calls to action with where they are on the buyer's journey, okay? If somebody doesn't even know they have a problem yet and we put out a social post that makes them aware of the problem and uses community building to kind of make them know they're not alone and that there's this community of people who share the same um, solution that they could possibly benefit from that have a similar problem to them, it's really weird to ask them to go buy your product. They're just not ready yet. So what we do is we align the call to action with where they are on the journey. And to do that, we really could use a lead generation link. So what we've done is added to the company profile, 
something called do you have a lead generation offer, such as a free trial, a call booking, or an email newsletter. And um, I've already selected yes here and loaded this for mine, but then it asks you, how do you ask followers, followers to claim it? Download a guide or whatever it is. So we have try social monials for free at this URL. So I recommend you take a minute, go to your company profile. Um, if you don't have access to this module, um, you could still go and do that in your company profile. And now you'll be able to very quickly, and I'll show you how to do this when we get into it, very quickly add the correct calls to action to your social media posts. All right, so once that's done, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you update um, everything else as well. And what I'm gonna do now is save this, and let's jump into social media, and I could give you a quick walkthrough of this as well. So as you can see, there's um, some new stuff. Uh, this over here has show example, so now you can see what this is gonna output as an example. So let's click that button and you can see weekly news roundup. This is what it creates for you. Um, download our free quick fit guide. This is just a sample and some hashtags and things like that. But these are real articles that are current. So that looks really cool. Let's go ahead and use this. So this is the new settings screen for the weekly news roundup. If you recall, we used to have a very clunky looking setting screen, and then there was a third screen for the prompts. Now it's all built into one screen, so easy to use. So set the maximum number of articles. I'm gonna just have it generate, um, let's actually do just three articles, keep it really simple and clean. Um, notice how these are already preset for me. It's different for every single social media type, you can change it if you want, but I, I already preload it with defaults. So let's look at some of these options. You can have it write a first comment for you now. This is super powerful. So I'm gonna do that and have it write a first comment, which will automatically drop into, like if I generate a CSV from this, it'll automatically put it in the CSV or the first comment field um, and column of that CSV. So I'll have it write a first comment for me and this gives me other options now. I can have it include hashtags when it writes each social media post. And I have an option to move it to the first comment if I want or not. If you don't, it's gonna add those hashtags to the main um, message of your post. I wanna move those to the first comment. I can include emoji. This is more of a professional thing, so I'm not gonna include emoji. And the number of posts, you can choose one through 10. I'll just create one post because I wanna keep fresh content each week. And this is a post that I'm gonna be putting out there every Friday, for example, um, in the afternoon to kind of do a weekly roundup. So it makes sense to only do one at a time. Language, um, we have a ton of different languages that you can choose from, and the call to action. So we've got this include a call to action option now, which um, you can turn off, but when you turn it on, it's got this really neat sub option. You can ask for a lead or ask for a purchase, and you can have um, move this to first comment as well. So I'm gonna move the call to action um, to the first comment and use this right here. So you can update it. It's just gonna drop in the default that you have, but you can update that anytime you want. And now that I've got my call to action, everything's set, I am gonna generate the chatbot prompt, which it's gonna do for me, and it's gonna copy it into the clipboard so all I need to do is just paste it into the software or into the AI um, chatbot. So now that it's copied, as you can see here, okay, so now I'm gonna paste this in and get it working. So now it's gonna go and write me a post. It's gonna go out and actually look through the web looking for current articles that really support the outcome that our target audience is really looking to achieve. So while it's working, I'll show you there are some optional refinements. We can go bulk here and we can create a CSV with the posts. This is just a single post, so it wouldn't make sense to do that. But imagine being able to create 100 posts using the AI writer and then quickly convert those to CSV with really accurate first comments already written. Um, you can write video scripts and some other things as well. So as you can see, it's already writing this for us. Um, it wrote exactly the number that I wanted it to write. So it gave me three articles with links. 
So what I can actually do with this is I can copy this. I can jump over here and switch over to the publisher and I can paste this. And let's say uh, these are pretty long. So I'm gonna send these to all of my LinkedIn networks and all of my Facebook networks here. So our channels. And now it's gonna give me a preview of how these look. Now we've got our three different articles with links and we can go ahead and add that to Q. So now I've just published that and I can go back to writing more social posts. So I'm gonna jump back in here. So there's a lot to explore here, guys. I really hope you take the time to go through it, use the AI writer. Um, the, the next phase of this is gonna be even more exciting, but right now you have what you need to implement this attract and convert strategy and start really growing and making an impact on social media instead of just generating a bunch of posts that might not have that thread, that common thread that runs through them and a really great strategy that can actually get some results from your social media. So looking forward to seeing what you all do with this. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions about it.